Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is everything here? Why, why is everything happening at once? The statues, the minecart tracks, the spring, and now, Lanayru. I wasn't even going to introduce the episode yet, but hey, everybody. Welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. Normally, I, I warm up a bit before I get into the episode. I maybe pull up the comments of the past, uh, I, honestly, the past recording session and, and refresh myself. But as soon as I loaded in, I saw something that demanded that I address it in the moment. Also, that. Did I go up there? I don't think I went up there. I'm... Oh, but that's where... Oh, wait, wait. That's where the statues are leading. That's that's not where I came from. For a second, I thought I went past it. So, no, no, no. I need to go back. You know, it's really easy to do that kind of transition where I start a thought and then complete it at the destination when there aren't 15 things in between me and my destination. I do that all the time in Pikmin 4. But here, by the time I get here, I don't remember what I was saying. Which is honestly the mark of a good world. Uh, I, I said at the very beginning of this LP that I don't think that Breath of the Wild is nearly as good as we think it is, and as I thought it was leaving that LP. And this is so cool. Oh, we found another one. Uh, and that's kind of my thesis statement. Four Tears of the Kingdom is showing how much better of a game it is. Since I'm fully confident and already it's fairly confirmed in my mind that it is it is better. Uh, and I knew that those takes were going to be received s strangely because it's it goes it's very much against the consensus. This is neat. I like this. Also, I need to I need to put, give credit where credit's due. The ambience in the depths is awesome. It's so nice. So often when I record, I only have one headphone in so that I can kind of hear my outer voice instead of just my inner ear. Uh, headphones are often a little bit not too noise canceling, but you you get what I mean. It, it feels like I'm in a, inside of a tin can. Uh, I am trapped under the water behind the stone gate of the Great Plateau. Under the water behind the stone gate of the Great Plateau. Taking a snapshot of that, and that's all you have to say. We have a we have an unmarked quest on our hands. Uh, but to Tears of the Kingdom's credit. <clears throat> Copy-pasted uh, environments are not bad. That's not really my uh, what I was meaning to say, and I think that um, a couple commenters kind of, didn't misinterpret it because I said it wrong. Copy-pasting isn't bad. It's bad when that's all there is. It, in an open world game, what separates... I guess I can climb this, so I don't need to worry too much. What separates an open world game from a walking simulator are all the little distractions that cause you to stray from your intended path of point A to point B. It's when they start introducing point A, like A2, subsection B, that makes an open world game great. Yeah. Nice. And... I could just jump down here, but there are bosses aplenty these days, and I know that will take me downward. I, I just want to exhaust my options here. <clears throat> and and so that that's really what those camps are. Yes, they're copy-pasted content, but they're optional, obviously. That goes without saying. They're 
just like the postals are optional. I don't have to get them. And it's those decisions to go off of the beaten path that separate it. And you guys are right. <laughs> they do give you uh, multiple different ways to get that, to solve that problem. Uh, with all of the little, like, mini, not shrines, not like shrines in terms of the game shrine, but little shrines that uh, allow me to create different machines. Okay, I just wanted to see if I could raise this first, so I, I can, but I can also obviously hit it. Uh, I'm gonna use the opal sword, just because I don't think water's terribly helpful here. Oh, they're fans! I should have, I should have gotten that. For some reason, they look like a certain Lego piece to me. Oh, uh, to that point, you'll notice I have another section of battery. Uh, off screen, I, I cut it out. I'm, I'm kind of experimenting with that. <laughs> Duh. Uh, <clears throat> oh, that's my, that's my own attack. Off screen, I found, uh, I, f I found a Zonai construct, uh, that, that offered to exchange charges for, I don't like this charges for um battery and so i i i did that it i'm i'm doing a little bit of experimentation with L this lp and not showing you guys everything i find no need to be threatened that's just part of the big statue we found and i'm grabbing these souls before i i grab the chest because this room is way too big and i'm expecting something to drop down behind me when i open this Large zonite. C cool. Awesome. Nothing? Okay. Alright. I don't know why this... That reminds me of Star Wars. Although, I, I, I'm kind of on a Star Wars kick. I'm actually not a big fan of Star Wars. In general. Um, I think... I, I was a big fan of it as a kid. I, I loved it. And then, as I got, as I got a little bit older, and I guess, edgier, um, I, I would point out, I would, I would fixate on things, much like I do with this game. So you can see this, this personality trait, and possible flaw, has never really left me. I, I fixate on things that are minorly wrong with something, and what they could have been, and... Almost use that as justification to start not liking it, which I think is a very human thing to do. But over time, a lot of the things that I liked, we're gonna make note of this. In fact, uh, let's place. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm probably not gonna use that much on the surface for later because that is. I'm very interested in that. I just, you know, can't do it now. Also, uh, Zona devices. Can I? Minecarts are not Zonai devices. At least, not yet, anyway. So I can't use them. Alright. But over time, what kind of shifted this is a lot of the things I liked were majorly flawed, but I still liked them. Uh, and, and in learning about their flaws, and learning to quantify them, I appreciated the art of that thing better. And I'll stop, I'll drop the pretense. The first and foremost one uh, is Dragon Ball Super, actually. I, Dragon Ball Super is one of my favorite anime of all time. Not Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super. Uh, and it's in, immensely flawed. It was cursed with a terrible animation schedule and that really hamstrung it for its entire run. But they slowly overcame it, and I, I grew to appreciate and even recognize aspects of different... Where on earth is their minecart track? I really want... I, I don't really want to... F oh, we're on the wrong side of it. Oh. Um, this is weird, but I'm, I'm actually going to trace this thing back. Because I have an idea. I even learned to recognize key aspects of different animators and what separated, what set them apart. Uh, and by the end of it, I had a much deeper understanding of anime. And now, I mean, a lot of the anime I watch, I watch solely because of how they're animated. 
Those are that. Okay. And I, I, I find that I, I appreciate the medium. Oops, I did not mean to do that, but that's fine. This makes a little bit of light. I'm trying not to use as many bright bloom seeds because I am running out of them. <laughs> We came in here like 70, and now I don't have 70, uh, and I don't, at least I don't think I have any left. Do I have, I don't have any glow food left, and I don't have any pots left. So I'm, I'm running out of a very important resource here, and so I'm going to start having to walk in the dark, which I'm not going to do that too much, just because... <laughs> Uh, just because that's not very entertaining for you, to a certain extent. Um, after we've done it for a while, then I'll, you know, I'll go back to the surface and cook some stuff. Because I can just warp. But right now, I'm kind of enjoying the immersion, and I want to see if the game is going to supply me with that resource, you know? Um, I have kind of lost... I've kind of lost my minecart track that I'm trying to follow. Ow. You. And I don't really want to defeat them right now. Where on earth did the track go? Oh, there it is. And the reason why I'm, I'm following this track is because I want the minecart. Since there's track down at the bottom, I have a feeling that they're going to uh, like reward me for connecting that down to the bottom and then following that. I don't need the puff, puff shroom. Ah! What? Okay, maybe... Are they gonna leave me alone? What on earth are they l encouraging me to make? Are they done? I don't think I've ever de-aggroed them. Uh, the, like, the stall enemies before. What is this? Wait, what is this? It doesn't activate when I hit it. Is it... I think it's a zone I charge, and if I attach it to the device, it'll give me more charge. That makes sense for what they're encouraging. And this... Oh, it, it's the light. We already have those. That's a control panel? Okay, so they're giving me a couple options here. And I actually think we're not... I'm so... F oh, wait. I'm on the wrong map. <laughs> huh. That's where I just came from. That leads here. This leads to those ruins. So I guess I can see where it leads to. So I might want to make a plane. My aim here... is to fly there. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what I'm planning on doing. I've explored this, the central, uh, the great abandoned central mine. I've gotten a, a mini quest from it. And now I'm going to follow the statues. But this is way cooler than warping. And I don't really need a headlight, so. Get a little bit of air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can control it. I'm going to lose my stuff soon, but come on, just get a little bit of, I can glide from there actually, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's fine, that's fine, I, I wonder if I can take off again. Jerks! You utter jerks. Come on. Curses. Fine. It was fun while it lasted. It was... Oh, actually, whoa, 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 I totally forgot. I am... a photographer now. Little... Oh, they're, uh, duh, they're Vroxes. I should have... I, I legitimately did not put two and two together on that. Um, I'm, I'm very smart. 
But yeah, uh, I, I really didn't take any pictures in Breath of the Wild, and I just paid for the complete album at the end of the game. And I think it'd be kind of neat if we started taking photos and fill, uh, filling out the compendium a little bit more. And then, also... Uh... That means we can get some cool thumbnails from the photos, although... I kind of... The boat kind of sailed on that one, considering... You know... I, uh... I was in the temple and didn't take any photos. Maybe I'll go back. Maybe I'll go back off screen and take a photo, because I, I, I want that to be my shtick, and the best way to do that is by building a habit. Is that a face? That's kind of weird. Uh, not worth it. That is worth it, though. Maybe not worth it breaking my hammer for three zonite, but, you know, it's fine. Okay. That was close. That was really close. I did not notice that. Uh, okay, we're, we're back on track. In fact, let's, uh, through the magical power of editing, let's get that shot. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. And now, let's approach these ruins. I think one of the the neat parts of Postals being in this game is that we know what they are. Uh, and veterans don't have to be told what they are. Should I? I should probably jump down just in case there is something in there. And there's not. <clears throat> we know that they're souls. We know what causes those souls thanks to uh, Ocarina of Time. And the fact that there are so many of them explains to us without having to explain to us that a lot of people lie dead in here. A lot of people. That's really cool. It's it's subtle storytelling that doesn't hold the hand of of the the player. Oh man, it looks And I was actually thinking about that the other day. Um uh, the unfortunate part about recording Tears of the Kingdom, outside of, you know, everyone ha being done with it by now, and moving on to the next game, is... Uh, I go weeks on end without playing this. And so not only do I get rusty in terms of, you know... Oh, you guys startled me. Oh, I don't want to use this weapon! I want to use this. Not only does that mean I get rusty in terms of mechanics, but also remembering what is happening in the game. But the benefit of it is that I get to think about the game a lot more, and when I come back into for another recording session, I have ideas that I want to get out. But then the bad thing is, is if I get those ideas out poorly, I have to kind of go back to square one, and I... It, it it's, it's a weird dichotomy, and you guys have obviously picked up on it a little bit. Uh, but one of the things I was thinking is that Link doesn't have companions anymore. I mean, the last game to do so was Skyward Sword and gave us Fee. But now that the game is is open-ended like this, and also there aren't dungeons, really, and puzzle, your, your progress, your forward progress, um, doesn't completely stop if you can't figure out a shrine. You just go do something else. Hylia Canyon Mine. Because of all of those, those factors, He doesn't need a companion. The closest we ever got... Well, actually, we have these tutorial areas at the beginning of the game. They teach you the mechanics, and then they expect you to make do. Um, and use your, your creativity. They're not holding people's hands any, anymore. Uh, and that's definitely to the benefit, because they, need, they recognize, or at least they should... Ah... Uh, Oh wait, I just broke it. I'm dumb. They recognize that their audience is older, and they, they don't have to patronize them as much. Miner's trousers. The bioluminescent lamps just in time on these trousers shed light where you step. They come in handy when walking in darkness. Just in time. Oh man, uh, let's... Yeah, sure. Thank you. Also... These look like they're from Xenoblade 2. Uh, 
And I have both buffs. That's so timely. Like I said, I wanted to see what this game had to offer. I didn't want to just go to the surface. And notice when I did go to the surface, it was to get something that is only, like, it's not, it's not needed. It was just like, you know what, this is going to make the LP a little bit better having one extra charge. Uh, on the point of Xenoblade 2, since I mentioned that, uh, that's the other thing that I like that is immensely flawed is Xenoblade 1, or not 1, sorry, Xenoblade X. In Xenoblade, Xenoblade X it is, I think to this day, mm, top three worlds that, uh, that Mon Monolith Soft has ever designed. It's not the best. I, I think maybe Xenoblade 3 takes the case. Maybe. It's a lot of ore. But for sure, um, it's, it's like in the top three. Uh, it has the best combat of literally any game I've ever played to this day. And, but the story sucks. The, the, the cutscenes are awful because the, the music is so loud that you can barely hear most of the characters most of the time. It has so many different flaws. The story is really, really bad. Um, it, it sets up a bunch of hooks, a, bl a bunch of unanswered questions, and ne literally leaves them unanswered. Uh, it, it, liter it leaves more questions than it it answers. Uh, but I love it. It's n probably not one of my favorite games of all time, but I love that game because it gets so much right and so much wrong. And because of that, you end up learning about... You learn to embrace a nuanced take. And that's rare um, in the, on the internet. It's rare that so you can have a conversation with someone and they can say... You know, I, I really, I acknowledge this thing's strong points, but it really misses the mark in terms of this, and that taints the overall experience, yada, yada, yada. It's, it's rare that you get that kind of opinion. Um, things just have to be bad, or they have to be amazing, and all too often people fixate, myself included, on the minor flaws that really don't completely sullied the product, the end result, they just... You need to fixate on what it does right. You know, there are... There are these lizard statues I have been, you know, sprinkled out everywhere. Um, and... I probably could have been following those as well. You stupid... Monkeys. They actually kind of sound like monkeys when they when they make their little noise. <laughs> Makes me think of a uh, Super Monkey Ball. This is a really good way to deal with it. I don't have to. I really. Ooh, that hit both of them. That's neat. Oh, get. Oops. You know, one thing I've noticed about this game. I don't know if I'm just extremely unlucky. What? Oh, it was my charge. Or what? But I mean, look at my shield. I have one shield. Are there just? No shields down here? What what is what is that about? Uh there's so many things. Ah. I don't know what these charges do, but they look important, so I'm slapping them on. Let's go! We're gonna go so fast! Maybe too fast! Maybe too fast! How did that hang on? That's not working out. Ah, come back. Come back. Okay. Okay. Um. Bye. <laughs> that, this detour did not work out. It's just gone. Uh, uh, it's, it's gone. I, um... I sure met. Why? 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 Why did that come back? 
What? I'm actually freaked out by that. Why did it come back? The, also, one of them's depleted? Why? What am I going into? Oh, it's not using my, my charge. But why did it come? Oh, that's why it came back. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that was... Oh, that was creepy. That was, uh... Not gonna lie. That shook me. It just was gravity. Also, as long as- since you guys told me that that doesn't use durability... Oops, that's the wrong. Of course I'm gonna use the electric weapon, because there's no downside. Wow, that freaked me out, man. Oh, where does that go? Man. <laughs> yes, I know there are statues, but we're- there are things. They're important. Uh, let's take that. And throw that on there. Maybe I... Since I have the batteries, sure, I'll, I'll attach a headlight while I'm at it. What's, what's the harm? You guys shouldn't be able to crawl out of that. That is, um... That is... Stone. Uh, before I do this... Uh... I want to see if there's anything around. Nothing terribly interesting. I mean, more ruins, and I'm, I'm almost starting to get the impression that this, this underground, I didn't stumble across anything. I've just been in the rural area, just outside of a mega city, because as soon as I, as soon as I found something, that something has led to nothing but more somethings. I kinda wish there was a button to dismiss my my charges. Uh, this almost looks like the, the beginning of the road, because we have the first statue. So, if this takes me back to where I, I came from, I'm alright with that, because we have we have Hylia statues to investigate here. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, oopsie. Let's try that again. Oh. <laughs> okay. Alright then. Understood. Don't do that. So that's that's the end of the road. And we've explored that kind of. I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to get to the point where I'm turned around. Which means we're getting to the point where I am going to start following the goddess statues. i I know I've encountered that before. Uh, you know, I'm going to warp. I'm, I'm going to warp just up there and start following goddess statues. 